morning. Welcome to class 9 ICAC Physics. Now we are going to learn how to solve the numericals based on pressure and fluids but also they are based on Pascal's law. So now let us understand what is Pascal's law statement. The Pascal's law statement says the pressure exerted in an enclosed liquid is transmitted equally and undiminished in all directions throughout the liquid. And the application of this is the hydraulic press in which there will be a smaller piston and there will be a larger piston and a smaller force which is applied on the smaller piston which obviously will have smaller area is transmitted to produce a larger force on the larger piston that is of course having bigger area and so you realize that on the smaller piston whatever is the pressure the pressure is going to remain the same so if we talk about p1 p1 is going to be equal to f1 upon a1 for the smaller piston and p2 which will be for the larger piston it will be again F2 upon A2, the force that will be transmitted to the larger piston upon larger area and since P1 is equal to P2 because pressure is transmitted equally and undiminished, P1 is equal to P2 and so F1 upon A1 is equal to F2 upon A2. So if you rearrange these terms, you will have F2 upon F1 I have taken F1 this side, so A2 will come the other side, that will be A2 upon A1. And this is the formula that we will be using for these calculations. What is our formula? F2 upon F1 is equal to A2 upon A1. So you see that the force becomes inversely proportional to the area because of the formula that we have derived from here. So now let us come to the first question under that. So we have a hydraulic press and a force of how many newtons? 30 newtons is applied on the piston having area of cross section 100 cm square. What force will be obtained on the piston of dimension 50 cm by 20 cm? Now this you can mentally multiply and say it is 1000 cm square. So obviously we are going to have from smaller piston, we are coming to the larger piston. So let us write the data first. Initially, make sure that you have clarity of thought and just write the data for each piston. So smaller piston is going to have force of 30 Newton. 30 Newton is applied on this area so that will be your F1 and that is 30 Newton and area of cross section I'll say A1 that is 100 centimeter square and now they are asking us what force will be obtained so F2 is going to be how much we have to find that and A2 is going to be equal to 50 centimeter multiplied by 20 centimeter that will be 1000 centimeter square. You need not multiply this but I have just multiplied in order to show you that this is on the bigger piston. Now you will say according to, to the principle of hydraulic press. What is our formula? F2 upon F1 is equal to A2 upon A1. We have to find F2, so F2 stays as it is. F1 becomes 30 Newton and A2 is 1000 centimeter square and F1, A1 is 100 centimeter square. Now there is no need to convert this into SI although this is in Newton because it's a ratio. So in ratio this will get cancelled anyway and you will get F2 equal to 30 Newton multiplied by 10 so that gives you 300 Newton and this is our answer. 
for the force that is going to be exerted uh, will be obtained on the bigger piston. Now let us move on to question number 2. So in the second question, there is a hydraulic machine and a force of 40 kg is applied on the smaller piston. The diameters of the two pistons are 10 cm and 50 cm respectively. We have to find the force exerted on the larger piston. So as we did for the earlier question, we have the smaller piston and we have the bigger piston. And the force applied on the smaller one is F1 which is given as 40 kgf and the diameters are given. So I will call this as D1. For the smaller one it is 10 cm. For bigger it is D2 which will be 50 cm. And we have to find the force exerted on the larger piston which means F2 is to be found out. Now, we have been given diameters. What does our formula say? Our formula we already written over here. F2 upon F1 is A2 upon A1. So, we need area of cross section. Now, knowing that these diameters are given, that makes the two pistons circular in surface, which means we need to find their radius. So, R1 will be 10 upon 2, which means 5 cm. And here, you will have to find R2 which will be 50 upon 2 which will give us 25 centimeter. So let us write the same statement by now you should know according to what is our formula F2 upon is equal to now everybody knows this. Now F2 is to be found out. So we will write here F2 as it is. And for F1 we will write 40 kgf. And area of cross section is pi r square. So A2 becomes pi r2 square upon pi r1 square. And pi gets cancelled. And if you substitute out here immediately r2 square will be 25 times 25 upon R1 is 5 times 5 and so you will see F2 will be equal to 25 here and 40 crosses over so that gives you 25 force 100 so 1000 kgf and this is the force that is obtained on the other, that is the larger piston and that is our answer. So we understood the numericals based on Pascal's law and now we will go to the next video. We will have numericals based on atmospheric pressure. Thank you for watching.